In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact segmentation strategy I use for my client to help them go from making $1,500 from their newsletter to $5,373. All right, so before I get into the actual strategy, it's important you understand some context behind my client. So my client, they're called One Salting, and they help job seekers land jobs through career services and software. And the market manager came up to me and they're like, Alif, we need to make more money from our newsletters. Right now, they're doing $1,500. Can you get it up for us? And I was like, sure, let me tackle this. And this is essentially what I did. So after digging through their CRM and going through the list and everything, I noticed that the list that they send email newsletters to, there was no like audience insights for months. Like we didn't really know their pain points, what they're struggling with. And we haven't done a deep dive into who they were, the people in the list for like a long while. So there was a little ambiguity about what the needs of the people in the list were. And on top of that, we were sharing content, right? Stuff around like how to get a job, how to get a job, right? But it was generic content. It was just like stuff we thought they wanted to hear about job search and how to get a job. So it was generic content. So after thinking about that, like, yo, we don't know much about our email list. And on top of that, we've been sending generic content for a while. What should we do? Survey. We should survey our email newsletter list. And that's exactly what I did. So in the survey itself, I, I knew that when it comes to surveys and surveying your audience, you have to be very specific with your wording so you get the right juice out of them. And so in the survey, it was, it was basically a long Google form. And in the survey, I asked questions around the following. What sort of content would the reader like to read so, that, so they'd be excited when they see our email in their inbox? What's preventing them from purchasing our products or service slash service? What are some of the most common challenges they're facing in the job search that we could help out with? Obviously there's a lot more questions, but they all fell into one of these three buckets. And so I was like, okay, great. Put, the put together the survey, send it to the team. Do they approve? Do they like it? I got the go ahead and then I hit send. So I got the survey response back. It was a lot of stuff and ChatGPT really helped me like kind of comb through everything. But it was interesting. As I was going through the survey responses, I started noticing patterns. For example, I noticed the people who identified themselves as students often had the same pain points as each other. So a bunch of students started reporting the fact that they lacked career clarity. They were unsure how to speak in a professional environment and they were mainly unable to afford our services, which I was like, makes sense. You're students, you don't have money, right? But also people who identified themselves as people in jobs for one to seven years, they also had similar struggles and pain points. For example, they hated navigating corporate politics. Uh, they didn't feel like they were where they wanted to be in life and in their career. And they weren't sure how to sell themselves during an interview, even though they have the skills for it, right? So people in one to seven years, they, had, they generally had this as their main struggle point. And professionals, people seven plus years of experience, oftentimes they're in managerial roles and they're very settled in their careers. These people, I noticed, they generally wanted to learn how to communicate like a leader. Climbing the corporate ladder into a director role was important. Or some of them, they probably worked a long time and they're like, hey, I want to just do my own thing now, right? Start their own business of some sort, right? But it was really interesting going through everything and realized, oh, this keeps coming up for this group. This keeps coming up for this group. This keeps coming up for this group. Wait a minute. What if we do this? Instead of sending one email to our email list, right, with generic job search content, we send out three emails. Each email has content tailored to their needs. So, for example, um, the student would get very specific tailored content to them. There are people with one to seven years of experience get very specific content tailored to them, and the professionals get very tailored content sent to them, right? So you can see we segmented the list into three groupings. And on top of sending tailored content, we uh, included tailored upsells, right? So we suggested they buy services that fit their general budget, right? So for example, for the students, 
uh, for the student segment, we sent emails that had content around summer internships and our basic resume service because that was like the cheapest thing. Uh, for the segment that was early career, one to seven years of experience, we sent contact or content around like self doubt and maybe our two tier packages, which is a little more pricier than resume services, but not super unbelievably expensive. And then for professionals who are well into their careers, we send them content around like career leveling up, in this case, becoming a director and what that involves. And we also send them links to like our ultimate bundle, which is our most expensive bundle, but it had like a lot of stuff to it. And considering these are professionals that are well into their careers, they probably have a lot of savings. They're most likely, they're most likely able to afford something like this. And what's interesting is this strategy actually ended up working. So here's an actual screenshot from our uh, Google Sheets here with the actual results. So over here, you can see the date. So everything was sent on Monday, to, uh, January, February, March, April, May, May 2nd, right? These, e these emails were sent on May 2nd, all, all three. These are the open rates, click the rates. But what's interesting is their revenue. So you can see over here, professional, it generated $2,134. The early career newsletter over here generated 2,941 and the student one here generated almost $300 compared to $1,500. This is a significant increase and it all just started by segmenting our list and sending tailored content. How cool is that? So that's the power of segmenting and sending your audience very tailored content content. So if your manager ever comes up to you and they're like, yo, John, Bob, Joanna, make us more money. Now you can say, yo, no problem. I got it. And then just do this whole thing I showed you. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, uh, I hope this video taught you something. Uh, my name is Alif. Feel free to connect me on LinkedIn, Alif Huck, and uh, check out my website, alifhuckmarketinginc.com. I'll also link to some resources down below in the description of this video if you want to learn about marketing and lifecycle marketing and all that stuff. So feel free to check that out. And with that being said, my friend, I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.